The models used in these heartbreakers ads, now part of a federal lawsuit, are from all over the country. One is even from England. They've never worked there and probably never even heard of it. The suit claims their images were simply plucked off the web and used without their knowledge. It infuriates me because of all the social media and copyrights. Jane Carey runs the John Casablancas Modeling Center in Brookfield. She hadn't heard about the Heartbreakers lawsuit, but says models everywhere have to fight to protect their livelihood, which is their image and likeness. The company that's paying for these advertisements are actually profiting off the models. So if they want professional models, then they should pay for them. So these, these girls are you know, probably losing out thousands of dollars. We went to Heartbreakers owner Milwaukee Entertainment LLC in Elm Grove, actually giving them a copy of the lawsuit because they hadn't seen it yet. That's how it came about. They just didn't question what they were receiving. Heartbreakers attorney says they hired graphic artists for the ads and posts and were unaware the images weren't licensed. Reach out to the attorneys for these young ladies and see what we can do to make everyone happy and obviously uh, take uh, greater care in the future going forward. So perhaps signaling a settlement of some sort. Nick, how did the women know they were actually in the ads? Oh, that's not clear from this lawsuit, Joyce, but the law firm that's representing them has sued a number of strip clubs all around the country in recent years. That lawyer told me today that he can't comment on pending litigation. Right, Nick Bohr reporting live.